Be prepared. Be prepared, says the Spirit of grace, for once again, as Peter, who stood upon, up upon the day of Pentecost, and he said these words, this is that. Be prepared, says the Spirit of the Lord, for this shall be what shall be in the lips of those upon this planet. This is that, they shall say, as my glory shall begin to fill the streets, your communities, your places of public gathering, schools, universities, governmental places, my spirit shall touch this planet in a way that has not happened in a way that you have not seen or beheld or even read about for the media will say we do not understand be prepared to say this is that the teachers of the schools will say we do not understand what meaneth this be prepared to say this is that your neighbors your friends your relatives shall ask what is this be prepared to say this is that says the spirit of grace I will use this, the outpouring of my spirit that shall accelerate and shall become greater in this time. And with it shall come notable miracles, notable signs, and that which would cause the earth to wonder. So that you may say, this is that, but I will use it to break down racial divide I will use it to touch and to change the hearts of those who feel like they are not being heard and I will cause the hearts of this land the United States to receive a touch for many times and for generations people have tried different methods, different things to unite, to bring healing. And it only lasts for a moment, but God says the heart of man, when it is touched by the spirit of their creator, change is the result that is established in the spirit and of the spirit that brings an order a governing, a peace, a healing, and a resolve. Do not think that the streets of today is the streets of your future. Look very closely for the enemy fears what shall take place that you will see with your eyes. The heart of man shall be touched in an unusual way that will bring healing to this land, to this nation. That shall cause them to lay down their rocks, their swords, and shall unite. Listen, watch an unusual sign of the young, the old, Law enforcement shall be seen gathering hands together as an act of unity, an act of prayer. And this shall be a sign that shall bring a witness that my hand is greater than that which seeks to divide, says the Spirit of God. Pay attention to the month of June and to the months going forward. Things will become hot in the natural, but do not be fooled, for I'm burning away the dross. I'm burning away disease. I'm burning away racial tension. I am burning away this division 
disunity, hatred. Yes, I am. And I will use the heat as a sign. But then listen. Listen closely. For this nation, the clouds will form. And there will be a sound of thunder and a roar that shall come. Great thunder. Yes, for I'm speaking, I'm mobilizing, and I'm moving. And when you hear the sound of thunder, rejoice. Because there are more for you, more that is for this nation than against it. Even though the warfare has been intense, is the spirit of grace. And then look and see the lightning. Behold the displays that I shall cause to take place even in the natural. For you will see Satan fall. You will see his agenda fall in the displays of lightning. Rejoice, because a new day I have promised upon this land. And what has started off harsh, there is some rocky waters ahead. But God says it shall smooth out to bring you the decade of difference that I have promised, that you will testify and you will say, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It is among us once again, says the Spirit of God. Come on. Jesus surrounds you, covers you, follows you, and is a 
now put your hands on yourself. Lay hands on yourself. The Bible says a believer will lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. That doesn't mean it always has to be on somebody else. You can lay hands on you. So, Father, right now, just say this. Say, I lay hands on myself. I impart Holy Spirit power. The power of the Holy Ghost goes in me. My spirit, my mind, my emotions, my thoughts, in my body. Every fiber is touched by the power of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill me with fresh fire. Fill me with a fresh outpouring. Fill me with a fresh anointing. And I thank you that I shall rise up in this season to come with new boldness and a new grace. Come on, shout to God one more time if you believe it in Jesus' name.